Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another review. Today I'm going to be testing Exit Lag. Exit Lag is one of these VPNs you can get for gaming that's supposedly supposed to reduce your ping and improve your game performance. I've seen this advertised over the years and I always kind of wondered, you know, does it really work? Now, if you guys don't know the background of this channel, I've been reviewing VPNs for around 10 years, stuff like NordVPN, Surfshark, all those products you see advertised. And I help people decide which ones are actually worth using, whether that be for torrenting, general anonymity, or whatever you want to use a VPN for. And that's why I made VPNTierlists.com, where you could submit your own user review of any VPN you want, check out my expert ratings, or check out the ratings of the community. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and see if Exit Lag is worth using. Now, when it comes to the exit lags website experience, it's a little laggy for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe I need to use exit lag to use exit lags website. But that said, it's kind of standardly priced when it comes to a VPN. It has kind of information about um, how it works, um, as well as like, you know, various people who kind of support it. But as you can see, I've clicked on it a couple times and it's kind of like just the website's a little laggy. I'm not exactly sure why. So if we look at the website, it's around $10 a month, around um it's kind of an odd price point to multiply i don't know if they do that on purpose they don't really show you the bulk price which is kind of annoying you only get one simultaneous connection which means you only get one use case which is kind of different from vpns that i review usually they give you a lot but it is a different use case so i could kind of understand that they probably don't want people on discord just sharing accounts um but outside that though you could also pay quarterly which will be more around probably 50 to 60 dollars and this is probably more around kind of 70 to 80 dollar region just doing some basic math without the 25 cents on there um, so it's not horribly priced um, but does it actually do anything so we're going to load up starcraft 2 right now and we're just going to play a game kind of look at our ping and see how it is in the match and then connect the exit lag and see if it actually improves anything I see the ping there up in the corner um, one second let me just get my base started here i have to go for a double expansion just because i'm a little distracted um but let's see here i'm gonna have to zoom in closely it says we have looks like we have approximately 30 ms ping which is very good um you really that's pretty good i mean you don't really need much more than that um but we'll see what exit lag could do you know if it's worth spending that money per month uh already i'm gonna say probably not for me specifically um just because 30 is pretty good already you're not gonna notice any differences there all right, I figured we might as well just connect it while we're playing. It should let me connect and not drop me from the game, hopefully. And we'll see kind of what our ping looks like after that. So it looks like we are kind of connected now. Um, let's go ahead and apply the routes. So it says we are connecting and we'll see. It says the ping should be around 18 milliseconds um, compared to 30. So we'll go ahead and see if that's actually the case. seems like we are still connected and we're not dead yet. So that's a good sign. So let people know, I guess you can kind of connect to it in game too, if you want to, um, which is a kind of a nice feature to be honest. So that's nice to see. We're going to cancel this and put that like this just so we can have more stuff going on. Let's go ahead and check out what the ping is now. So the ping looks to be 29. Looks like it's 27 right now. We'll wait a couple seconds just to see, you know, if it changes at all. So <laughs> I guess I reduced it by a couple um, ping. I don't know if that's really worth it. Um, but, it, I mean, technically, it still does work. Um, is it worth it for that? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and play the game for just a little bit longer and see what happens. So, guys, in conclusion, do I think exit lag is worth it for me? Well, probably not. I only decreased my ping by around six or seven seconds with a good test going from 30 milliseconds to around 24 at its lowest point, as you saw in that StarCraft 2 example. However, I have to say I am kind of surprised it worked as well. And in fact, if you look at the decrease, exit lag actually made my performance 20% faster. Does that necessarily mean a 20% increase in my gaming capacity, my gaming scale or anything like that? Well, not really, but 20% increase in ping is actually significant, especially if you live in a region like Thailand or any of these other places around the world, maybe Europe, somewhere that doesn't have good routing with games from your internet service provider, I could actually see this being a pretty big improvement. 
let's say for example you're getting 120 ping and exit lag can reduce it down to 100 ping that's actually a pretty good improvement and i suspect that if you have worse routing than i do you're actually going to get more of an improvement maybe between 20 to 40 percent 40 percent to 50 percent would actually be incredible let's say you have 200 ping going down to 100 ping would actually be quite significant and you'd actually be able to feel it feel it so I do think your mileage may vary. I do think it's worth testing out if you're having poor routing. If you're someone like me in the United States with good routing, you're getting 30 ping, you probably don't really need exit lag, but I thought it was just fun to test out and give my honest feedback on it. If you guys like this objective unsponsored review of exit lag, check out my referral link. Um, anyone could sign up for these links, so it's nothing special. Just go to exitlag.tomspark.tech. You'll be able to get any discounts available. You'll be able to purchase it and it'll help support this review. If you like this review, um, like I said, I'm not sponsored by exit lag. They didn't ask me to make this video. I paid for my account with my own money. So if you like all that and you want to help support reviews just like this, consider using that link. That said, guys, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again very soon.